Rich, going back to that uh, Beverly mansion, I should call it, instead of a house. Uh, yeah. I know you're in the uh, market for a new house. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. Just Let me just whip out the wallet. <laughs> <laughs> whip out the wallet, dip into some of that Price is Right money, and away. There you go. There you go. As quick as that. Uh, so, you guys enjoyed the day today, I yes, bet? Yeah. Gorgeous. Out it was there. really pretty. I hope mm -hmm. you did because things cloud up overnight tonight and through the early part of tomorrow. It won't be until late in the afternoon that we see some clearing. Then, after that, it's off to the races. We're talking about full sunshine, 70 Saturday, 80 Sunday, oh. 90 by wow. Monday when it 90s. gets to 100 so yeah, right. hundreds by two no <laughs> yeah, really that would be way too early for hundreds <laughs> to roll around but uh, even 90 degree temperatures this time of the year we could break some records on Wednesday uh, coming up as daytime high temperatures are in the uh, low 90s the records right now so we could break some records uh, this coming week but in the meantime we're going to try to uh, enjoy the next couple of days of cool weather here in the uh, Los Angeles area as cloud cover starts to stream in there's a shot there of downtown not a cloud in the sky at this point very clear the uh, front for this particular area of low pressure will be coming through the area overnight tonight into early tomorrow. As a matter of fact, we'll go through some of the timing here in just a second. There's the occurrence on the board right now. Downtown Los Angeles at 58. Same for LAX. 60 in Riverside. Van Nuys at 59. 60 in Fullerton. Oxnard now at 55 degrees after topping out officially today at 68 downtown. Just a few degrees off the mark, but still below normal for this time of the year. Here's your headlines. So a weak cold front is approaching Southern California. Cloud cover picks up again overnight, as I mentioned. Cloud Cloudy in the morning and then partly cloudy by later in the afternoon and then uh, we really start clearing out as we head into the weekend. Here's the forecast map. You can see some of that high cloud cover already starting to stream into Southern California as a weak high pressure tried to build in today. Our area of low pressure that brought us some rain has moved off to the east. This area of high pressure is going to get moved out of the way overnight tonight by this front right here. The front should break up as it passes through the uh, Santa Barbara area, but we may get some spotty showers through the mountains of Ventura and Los Angeles counties. Otherwise, Wise, cloudy skies. That's about it. As that low moves out, high pressure will replace it for the weekend, and that's going to boost daytime high temperatures to near record levels. Here's future cast. Let's talk about the timing of this frontal boundary system. Watch the time uh, stamp up in the upper right hand corner of your screen. I'll put things into motion. Here comes that cloud cover overnight tonight, and then by early tomorrow morning, there's the front right there at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Let me put it into motion. The front starts to break up and dissipate, but there are some spotty showers that start to pop up over the mountains of Ventura and Los Angeles counties for the most part. But as we get through the day Friday, uh, everything really seems to stay in the mountains of Ventura County. But uh, that's about it. Other than some cloud cover and maybe some spotty showers for Ventura, that's all we expect out of this one. S 64 at the beach tomorrow, 66 downtown, 68 for the valleys and IE. Sunshine starts breaking out Saturday, 70s for the valleys and IE, 80s by Sunday, 90s by Monday. Oh. Kent Susie, back to you. Wow.